here's our outdoor unit. So out here, we'll pull this pad up, pull those pavers up, bring some more pavers with us to get everything level um, and a couple bags of dirt to level that out. We'll do a new disconnect box and a new electrical line, and then the refrigerant lines will get flushed and pressure tested. Hey guys, we're at Heather and Jeremy's house. We're gonna do a replacement of a full system here. For the furnace and air conditioner, we'll pull this furnace out and we'll set our new furnace on top of a six inch furnace base, build back up into the existing plenum with a new coil. Um, we'll put a new return drop in. We'll do a five inch media cabinet between the drop and the furnace. Um, my flue pipe will get replaced up to the swivel T here. That's a six inch swivel T. So we'll need a six by five by four swivel T and then we'll reduce everything down to the furnace and to the water heater. Um, they're potentially interested in changing the water heater as well. So we'll pull this thing out. We can go back with another tank style water heater, which would sit in the same spot, tie back into the existing plumbing. We'll bring everything up to code with our new thermal expansion tank and shutoff valves, and then rebuild the flue for that. If they decide to go with a tankless water heater, we'll mount that over here to the wall. Um, and then we can determine whether or not they want to put in uh, like recirculation loops and that kind of stuff as well. But it'll mount to the wall right there and we'll run our new electrical from the ceiling over to the breaker panel, which this is a car hammer load center. This is all going to be replaced. It looks like our breaker for the air conditioner is a double 50 amp breaker. Uh, but this whole panel is going to come out and they're going to have a new panel put in, an upgraded panel. Um, Let's see here, refrigerant lines will just get flushed and pressure tested, so we'll cut those here, flush everything out and pressure test them back to the system. We'll put a new humidifier on. Whenever we build this return drop, set our new humidifier in and pipe that back over to the supply side. And then all my drain lines run from the system itself around to the front to a floor drain right there. So we'll just tie all that stuff back in. Gas lines are all up to code. Um, there's shutoff valves for everything, and then my electrical's up to code. It goes above the joist there. So that's pretty much it. Um, we will have to go through the main part of the house to so bring some, um, some tarps to walk across the hardwood floors and carpets.